Hey, this is just a quick overview of Flex Search, which is a new module I'm posting on modularfilemaker.com. Um, this example file I'm using is hosted on Amazon Web Services using their uh, free EC2 tier. So it's a pretty modest machine, um, but it should give you some idea about how this thing works over a wide area network. So Flex Search is essentially a, a search bar object that you can copy and paste onto any layout and it will work. Um, the layout can be in any context and uh, you can paste it on as many layouts as you want and this thing will just work the same. It's completely portable and uh, it performs a couple cool functions. The first one is a regular quick find. So let's look for James Butter. And there he is. And uh, if we search for the zip code 70116, there you go, it finds it. Um, so there you go, that's, that's the regular quick find, but imagine for a second that this is actually an invoice number, and the user remembers that it ends in 116, but they don't remember what the beginning of the number was. So if you type 116 into a quick find, nothing comes back. And that's because quick find matches phrases from the beginnings of words. So to get around that, I created flex search, which will also include the middle and ends of words. So now with flex search on, if I type 116, there, it, uh, you get your result there. And if I type in James after that, it narrows the search results just like a regular quick find. Um, so it behaves as you, you'd expect, but it also matches the uh, middles of words. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that can be useful in some other scenarios too. So if you look down here, we have a uh, website URL. Um, with a regular quick find, the user would have to type all of this before the actual website name. And they may not want to do that every time they're searching for a website. So with Flex Search on, we can just type in uh, Benton John. And you get your result with Benton John. But if I turn Flex Search off, nothing is returned. So that would be another uh, potentially really useful um, situation where you might want to have Flex Search installed. Uh, there's a couple other cool features um, that I just wanted to point out. Um, one is that um, it saves your sort state. So if I uh, go back here and I sort by city. All right, so we have our found set sorted by city. And if I start uh, typing in here, it kept our found set, or it kept our sort order. And it keeps it as you type in here. So that's a user-friendly thing. Another user-friendly thing I thought I'd show you is um, if we type in James in this layout, and we pop over to the iPhone layout, and we type in butter here. And then when we go back to our pro layout, it still says James. And if we go back to our iPhone layout, it still says butter. So it's saving the search term with the layout. And I just thought that uh, that made it a little easier if a user wanted to pop back to the pro layout and restore whatever their search was there. Uh, they, could, they would have their search term already there. We could, they could click enter. They wouldn't have to remember anything. And uh, one more cool thing I wanted to show you is just um, if you highlight part of your search word and click search, it keeps the highlighted portion exactly as it was before you clicked search. It, it restores the cursor position to exactly where you were. So if I just put the cursor in the middle and I click search, it restores it to exactly where it was. And that's just another user-friendly thing that um, I've seen a couple other search scripts don't do, and I thought that might make things a little uh, easier to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That's Flex Search. There's some other features, uh, but I won't burden you with those in uh, this video. Hope you guys enjoyed.